Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players, and a Tesh Ordo here. Today, I'm going to be talking about lifter units. Um, there's been a few people that have been talking about these characters, and possibly what characters could come out in the future. I know I'm late in the ball for this, but hey, I wanted to get... I still want to get my take in on it. So, as you can tell, I finally got my Commander Sokotano. Haha, <laughs> it's exciting. Way later than I wanted to. In the August of, end of August of 2022. Gee, it took so long. Such a grind. But yes, I want to talk about the lifter units. And for every Galactic Legend, CG, it seems like CG might be coming out with a lifter unit like Kenobi here, uh, Lord Vader, as well as Rey with Ben Solo. So yeah, as you can see, these are the three lifter units. We'll see how Ray and Ben Solo work out once they come out because people like Arnold T101 and who knows who else will be sitting there just slamming down these characters left and right, testing them to see how good they are, how good they actually hold up. So, but that's that. I'm going to talk about the other Galactic Legends. Which ones need the lifter units? Which ones could they get? So the first one I'm going to talk about is Jedi Master Luke. There we go. I went select for some reason. My thumb just didn't hit the right spot. <laughs> anyway, so Jedi Master Luke. Some people looking at the list of Jedi. Uh, that's right. It's still an update recently. Uh, da, da, with the new mods and stuff. But anyways, uh, a lot of people would presume Jedi Master or Jedi Knight Luke. There was also the fact of Ki-Adi Mundi. But I'm going to give you guys two potential options, two unique potential options. So first off, you see General Kenobi here. That's a placeholder for Jedi, or how would I say it, Hermit Ben Kenobi? Just Ben Kenobi? He's a Jedi, but he's, you know, he's not part of the Galactic Republic or anything. He's just a Jedi. He's kind of like Hermit Yoda. He's ex exiled. But part of the Kenobi show is really what I'm going with. Uh, so there is that option that would be a high, high potential for a lifter unit. It would be linking to Jedi master Luke, but it wouldn't be so linked because of that aspect. So there is that factor next, another possibility. This one's unique all in its own. How about jedi count dooku we recently got the trailers for the uh jedi stories I, uh, jedi some jedi stories show that's coming out at the end of october which is really cool and you get to see a jedi dooku so here's two potential opportunities for cg will they bring one in as a marquee i feel like the one that makes most sense is a uh as a lifter unit for Keno or Luke would be Kenobi because there's more linkage to him. Even though I know there's Lord Vader and Maul, they're like total opposites, total, not even linked at all. And then Dooku could also, they could uh, swap it on us, just give us a marquee Ben Kenobi, and here you go, have Jedi Master Count Dooku. So, hey, hey, why not? Next, here's one. As you see it in the title, yes. There's a star killer in the game. What if we get for Sith Eternal? A lot of his teams are, you know, help me, and then you guys die while I stay alive and kill the enemy team. That's really what it is. What if we get something to where it, you know, maybe more of the team survives, and that's through the Sith Stalker Star Killer from the dark side path of uh, Force Unleashed One, where you know he chooses the dark side, kills Darth Vader. And then it goes on a rampage kind of thing. That kind of thing. So, yes, that is a very potential opportunity. This is the one character I could see being potential for Sith Eternal. It probably it does stretch. It's kind of like the Lord Vader and Maul thing. But this one stretches into Legends. But if you think about it, it actually links in a unique way. Because uh, Emperor Palpatine was leading that Sith Stalker Starkiller. So, hey, why not? Why not give us that? Huh? <laughs> and then Snoke. Come on. I'd have no placeholder, really. Maybe you could do... Ha, that. 
but have S Supreme Leader Snoke. That one just makes the most sense. Some people were saying maybe Snoke goes with Sith Eternal, but Snoke isn't Sith. He doesn't consider Sith. He's like a Dark Side Online Force user. However, if they bring him out, I hope he's kind of similar to Emperor Palpatine with this leadership where, you know, Empire, Emperor Palpatine's leading Empire and Sith, where if Sith, um, Supreme Leader Snoke, wrapping my words around, uh, leads both First Order and Dark Side on the line Force users. That could be interesting. That could also link to Knights of Ren if they ever decide to bring the Knights of Ren out, you know, two to four years from now. Who knows when that'll be? Um, so, yeah, why not? Why not bring that opportunity in the game <laughs> so yes um and then i don't have a placeholder for jabba yet because his kit is not in game is it no it's not not yet okay <clears throat> this is just a mod update <laughs> but jabba the hut's coming to the game he's gonna need a character to link i'm pretty sure what they'll do is after ray or kylo comes out they will release or ben solo comes out i should say they will release uh what's a um the lifter unit for Jabba the hut since he's a newer character it's a good way to push yada yada then they would loop back to another one so we might get snoke for palp and or snoke for uh kylo here but for Jabba the hut i know Jabba the hut there's a few options. They could go... They could do some unique ones. They could actually consider... Uh, they could be saving uh, Boba Fett's sign of Django for him. That could be interesting. I don't think it would work. It just doesn't link up too well. Um, yeah, this will work. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't make sense as a lifter. Unless they, they decide to just link it and be like, hey, get your job, Boba Fett's up there. Jabba the Hutt's going to even be better now with him under it. Who knows? Who knows? They might do a touch-up to this kit. Um, that, there's, that's been thought about. Uh, there's also Bib Fortuna. Uh, that one is an option, but I don't see Bib for I see Bib Fortuna as a marquee character, not a... I don't know, uh, conquest character level, but who knows? I might just do it just to, you know, give them a lifter unit. But if they do bring in Bib Fortuna, I hope they bring a mixture of legend slash canon slash the toy where he has a staff, but he's the skinny return of the Jedi version, not the Boba Fett book of Boba Fett version where he's the big, <laughs> blob fortuna or whatever so that's that's my thoughts on it but you know there's also hondo that's an option i'm i don't have any personal picks for that one but i just wanted to mention it that it is a possibility that we could see one of those out there hondo naka maybe except i want to see hondo as a personal link towards something maybe maybe make him just an underworld pirate maybe bring a pirate faction in kind of like they did with Jabba. So we could see Hondo as a galactic legend. I've speculated about this in the past, either being a galactic legend, a journey or a legendary or an epic confrontation character. So I've done that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who would you like to see as Jabba the Hutt as well as what are your thoughts on my other uh, picks on these said characters, uh, said lifter units for um Jedi Master Luke, Sith Eternal, and Snoke. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate all those that watch the videos I make, and you guys have a phenomenal day.